guys, so we had Earth Day uh, yesterday. It was all yeah. a celebration of, you know, protecting our environment and uh -huh. educating ourselves on how we can do better to preserve the environment we live in, right? And then, of course, this Saturday is hands down the biggest festival in the District of Columbia. For sure. Area, DMV now, uh, Broccoli City Fest. And I'm going to tell you how big Broccoli City Fest is. My sister, who's up in New York, she said, they, they she hit me the, uh, like, once we first announced Broccoli City Fest, she said, you they're going? giving away tickets. No, she said they're giving away tickets on the radio in New York. Oh, wow. So uh -huh. the, the... That's what's up. Yeah, how big Broccoli City Fest has gotten is incredible. Childish Gambino, Lil Wayne, Ooh. Black, Ella May, Lil Baby, Tiana Taylor, WizKid, Gunna, City Girls, YBN Corday, New Impressions, Ade, just to name a few. Yes. Okay. So I had to bring one of the founders and my good friend, uh, D Perk, a.k.a. Daryl Perk, is in the building. Good morning, Daryl. Good morning, good morning. Happy to be here. Yeah, man, I'm glad you could be here, man, because, you know, again, you and I, we go way back, and I've, I've been such a fan of Broccoli City Fest since the very beginning, and to see what it is today uh, is, is incredible. FedEx Field is, is where we're at this time, right? Man, that's where we are. We're over to FedEx this year. So, it up. Nice. So was it that it got so big? Because, if you know, each venue has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Is it that you needed more space? Yeah, just room to grow. I mean, I think with everything is, you know, it's growth and progress. And so, you know, we're able to take it over to FedEx this year mm -hmm. uh, and just, you know, expand what we're doing. I mean, be able to get more people out, uh, have more impact. And, you know, I always appreciate y'all for your support every year. Yeah. Uh, and just, you know, it's always good to be here with you. Yeah. And, Daryl, you know, you, you guys also um, do a Broccoli Con. Mm -hmm. um, so can we talk a little bit about Broccoli Con? Because that that allows us to get a lot more information. It was a great networking event. I was broadcasting live there last year when I was doing afternoons and it was it was really dope to see all the different panels so let's talk about Broccoli Con. Yeah and no, I think I, I love to talk about Broccoli Con because you know what Broccoli City was always about it's always been bigger than just music festival or you know it's really being about how we shift in culture and making it cool to have an impact and really getting information and game out to people and I feel like the real game is at Broccoli Con in terms of who we're having to speak we're, right. we're bringing people together you know folks from Live Nation we got um Hmm. Bosma St. John, who she's just dynamite. Um, she was she was a chief marketing officer at Uber, and now she's at Endeavor. Um, we just have a really dope array of panelists that are doing incredible things. Whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're looking to get into music, whether you're you know you're a nonprofit organization, um, there's just a lot of information that's available at the conference. And one of the things that we want is how are we building broccoli cities? And when we say that, what does that mean? Hmm. Is how are we building cities that are you know equitable and sustainable. Um, and inclusive. You know what I mean, like how are we really building cities and communities that look like that, look like us, um, that are that are shifting things towards you know positive things. And I think we get a lot of information is at the conference. And when I say invest in yourself, mm. I mean definitely, definitely come out on Saturday to the festival. But you know you should definitely look to invest in yourself and come out to the conference uh, as well on uh, Thursday and Friday. And how can people get tickets for it, or is it something where you can just show up and... and yeah, just get and tickets on uh, bcfestival.com, and there's, they have whole weekend passes that include the conference and the festival. We still have some of those available, um, so folks should get on that ASAP, because um, yeah. they're going fast, and uh, yeah, man, I think you gotta, you gotta come check out the whole Broccoli, Broccoli City experience. Yeah, and, and let's talk a little bit about the inception of Broccoli City mm -hmm. and, and what it's about, because a lot of people don't even realize, you know, again, it's gotten so big for right. the festival element and the music, um, but a lot of people don't realize the what Broccoli City was all about from the very beginning. So take us back to you and your crew and how you guys came up with Broccoli City and what exactly it means. For sure. So the festival all came about... Um we were celebrating Earth Day. Like, we didn't see folks looking like us that were talking about the environment and talking about community health. And we wanted to see us representing that space because, you know, it, it's important that we caring about, you know, our environment, obviously where we live in, our world, but then also just strengthening and building healthy communities. And so we, we came, it came from that concept and just how are we making it cool to be healthy and engaged? Like, how are we making that the cool thing to do? And we were always able to mobilize people and we just want to mobilize people around something that, that that was positive mm -hmm. um so i mean from you know first festival we this will be our seventh festival oh, we right. started with 3500 people you nice. know we had last year we had about 35,000 so it's definitely wow. Been, wow. been progression every you know every year which is exciting exciting for us and also you know what we don't talk about also was the things that we're doing throughout the year um around community gardens and working with some of the organizations here here in, in dc and uh, in the dmv area mm -hmm. um that are just doing it really important 
important and, and impactful work. And we're just, we just want to help mobilize people, you know, to these different things. So it's like, it, it doesn't stop just with the festival. We got things going all, all year round. Yeah. You're the first person I ever met uh, who, who was doing like urban gardens <laughs> way back when. So like, um, you know, I always want people to know, you tell, let people know what you majored in at Howard University yeah. and, and what you then went on to study. <laughs> For sure. So I actually, I started, I started in business, but I ended up switching to be a, a anthropology major and stuff. So I studied cultural anthropology and hip hop culture all around the world and really hip hop as an African oral tradition and understand the role that music plays with us. You know I mean, historically going back, you know, where, we, you know, we make love to music. We go to war with music. We celebrate with music. You know I mean, we tell our history with music. Mm -hmm. And so it still has that same role in our social movements. And so how important it is that we're just still having that as a part of, you know, of the of the work that we're doing um, and how it just continues. It's still is all weaved together mm -hmm. um, in terms of you know us, us doing things and being active yeah right. I remember you went to what, what were you studying in, in Brazil or oh, something yeah, I at lived, one point I was, I was in Brazil for uh, for about a year and I was actually I was out there working out at like a retreat center and, and a farm out there and just actually was doing the same kind of work out there in Brazil uh, but it just it was just opening my eyes to um, the importance of, of food I mean we come together around food and music I mean like right. I think we love food we yeah. love coming together around music for so sure. <laughs> <laughs> we go show up for those and but but how that's such a that's such a moment to bring people together um and also i think food is so important to me personally i think to all of us is because we, we got to reconnect with food as a way that understanding that's how we nourish ourselves not just to fill our bellies when we hungry yeah. like that's our vitamins that's our nourishment that is you know that's how we grow and so that's really important that we're we're, we're having that reconnection mm -hmm. with food that way and especially working with the youngins is so they so they reconnect and so you understand it that your food isn't just processed it doesn't just come from you know out of a box or from the carry out that it actually is connected back to the earth and how important that is and when you're talking about the environment one they're going to be healthier just because obviously they're growing what they what they eating mm -hmm. and i think that being closer is going to make you it's going to build a healthy foundation as as you get older in terms of the, the food that you put in your body but also understanding the process of food from the earth you know all the way all the way into your body and so it almost makes people environmentalists as we talk as we come off for of earth day mm -hmm. it makes people environment it makes youngest environmentalists because they're thinking about the rain do they got to yeah. water they plant thinking about the soil and getting their hands dirty so all those different things kind of come into play yeah. uh together so yeah so you've gone into the community and you t you've taught young people in our communities here in dc how to create their own farms essentially create their own food uh and grow their own food how to grow exactly you know yeah. just just spreading them seeds and now you've got chipping <laughs> chip which is yeah. an app Love that, that actually can help you get broccoli city fest ti tickets and all kinds of uh free stuff yes. all because you're volunteering and helping out yeah so tell us about your chipping app and how it's doing so chipping is uh is great so it's c-h-i-p-n so it's mm -hmm. on it's on the app store and uh apple and for android so c-h-i-p-n chipping and basically you're able to find volunteer opportunities in your city um i found that i didn't have a volunteer app on on my phone mm -hmm. um and so i was like yo this is an empty space and we've always been good again at mobilizing people so we created this app for people to make it really easy to volunteer and then also in addition you're able to earn chips that you can spend in an online marketplace and get Broccoli City Festival tickets. You can get concert Dope. tickets. You can get gift cards. All ju all just by volunteering. So really creating a whole social economy based around moving people and, and and volunteering. So it's all based around that. And always and it's powerful. And part another part of chipping is when we chip in, when we all do things together, we're able to accomplish so much more. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, whether it's, if it's me doing one thing versus all of us in this room doing one thing together, we can do so much more together. Mm -hmm. And I think we got to be pulling together in that same vein is how we pulling together because we can do a lot for ourselves for our communities mm -hmm. but let's do it together though you know what I mean because we, we're so much more powerful that way and so chip in is really just a way to organize let us be organized on the ground and really get you know doing something in real life on the ground yeah C-H-I-P-N go ahead tap in get that app yep and tap in so again hey Daryl congratulations yes, in man. advance on uh, Broccoli City Fest again that's Childish Gambino Lil Wayne uh, those are the big headliners let me ask you it's crazy because at the same time Broccoli City Fest, we were all talking about it, and then something in the water came out yeah. as well. You know, all these festivals starting to sprout out. What is next for Broccoli City Fest? Or, you know, how do you guys feel when you're you're putting these lineups together, and then there's just like all these different festivals? Does it? Because if it seems like the space is now getting so crowded as far as 
festivals all over. Mm -hmm. So do you guys, are you going to continue with the festivals? Do you want to keep growing them? Or what do you see Breckley City Fest going into next? Just continuing to grow. I mean, I think, obviously, DC, you know, DC DMV is home base for us. I mean, it always will be. Okay. Um, but definitely, I mean, I think we see it spreading and doing different things in other cities as well. But, but again, for us, it's also what are the other things that we're doing even outside? Because I think one thing about us is just, you know, we got a heartbeat in terms of we always still have always stood for something and, and what we're mm -hmm. about and so that kind of helps i just for, for differentiate between all the other noise that's out there and i just think we have a i mean you know just have a great base of folks of supporters um that are out there you know that that fool with us mm -hmm. and so i mean we'll just continue to grow we'll be doing more obviously more work because we get we want to have impact and have a good time but also have impact on the ground as well so the different things that we're able to do again here in the city as well as expanding just you know it's, it's always growth i mean i really i think people the, the conference that that space is is huge i mean yeah. i love you know if we were in between a south by southwest and like an essence fest like if we were right. kind of in that space like that's where i would like us to be at and really bringing that to the city because yeah. you know we go other places for it but we right here you know in a, right. in, a, in, a in a nation's capital and so mm. what are we bringing right here you know because there's so much there, there are so many resources and how are we kind of organizing and bringing these those same type of things that we go elsewhere for how are we make sure that we have in that right here where we are right here in the dmv yeah well let's keep growing let's keep Always. building it uh broccoli city fest if you haven't already gotten your tickets how do they get their tickets off if they haven't uh bcfestival.com um you can look up broccoli city across all social media you'll find us we ain't hard to find yeah no you're not <laughs> just follow broccoli <laughs> city fest childish gambino Lil wayne hey. black lma Lil Baby, Tiana Taylor, on, WizKid, Crazy Gunna, lineup. City Dang. Girls, YB and Corday, Ade, shout out to you, man, Ade. Yeah. Uh, new Impressions, shout out to New Impressions, <laughs> too. Yeah. We about to have a crank session hey. out at FedEx Field. Trap Karaoke is going to be out oh, there. Oh, yeah, we going to be Trippy mm -hmm. Wet Red, OG Chase B. Yeah. Oh, that's a Howard alum, too. Uh, <laughs> B. Simone is coming out there. I am Zoe. So it's going to be a long uh, day, let's yeah. say on on Saturday, actually from Friday. Thursday, yeah. Thursday Long on, weekend. yeah. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, get down with Broccoli City. Fest. Let's do it. That's the only place to be. There it is. D Park. Anything else before uh, we get up out of here? Nah, just thank y'all. Thank everybody for support. Thank y'all always for the support. And like, yeah, let's get this. Let's do it. All right, Broccoli City Fest with ninety three point nine WKYS. We'll see you this weekend. <laughs>